Roswell flight test crew getting ready to pack up at CES 2016 and get on the road down to AMA Expo. But before we left, we just wanted to give you a sort of a, a final look back at some of the things we saw and didn't have time to cover in detail. What were some of the trends you saw, Tekkenstein? You know, one thing I noticed is big this year, optical flow. Everything's got it. Little aircraft, big ones, new ones, prototypes, everything's got optical flow. It was great. Had a wonderful demo over at the, the Bebops at Parrot. Very cool. Yeah, the Barretts are really something. They were putting on a whole little aerial ballet there. And if you took a close look at the floor they're flying over, it had a unique set of little colored squares. And I'm sure the drones were locking onto that in order to see what was going on. One of the big things I noticed was people are starting to play with aircraft geometry a little bit. For the last couple of years, you know, a quadcopter's pretty much been a quadcopter. Ehang, whose booth we're hanging out here right beside us, sort of switched it up a little bit with the Ghost mounting the propellers kind of upside down, as it were. But there are a number of aircraft here which are starting to mount you know, one blade low, one blade high. So that's been interesting to see. Also, I think they're working on the, the flight control, basically making it more intuitive, computer controlled, Intel's in there, they're running Linux. The big thing is, is making it easier to fly, making it perform functions for you, not just manual control. Although I love manual control, but you know the neat thing is they're doing that. And they're also doing some analog FPV, so that latency is gone in some systems too. CES is something like 2.5 million square feet spread out over three major areas, and including the one million square foot Las Vegas Convention Center here. But here in the drone section, sponsored by AUVSI, you know what I didn't see? And that was 3D Robotics. I did not see a 3DR booth. Well, they probably just missed them somewhere. They've got to be somewhere around here, but there's a lot of really cool stuff back there right now, and I can't believe I wouldn't. Yeah, it's true. I don't see them anywhere. Huh. Oh, well. So anything else stand out at you from the show? Besides the massive X8 that you can get inside of, the thing is that we're seeing is the really big ones, are people are trying to shrink them a bit to, to carry heavier payloads and be portable. That's one thing that, for a long time, you had to have a big, huge aircraft to carry anything, and that's kind of changing a little bit. It looks a little more professional grade, but um, Autel, which is just over here, it's got a really sweet looking ship. It, it looks like a quadcopter with a fixed wing platform built right into the middle of it, but the front two motors pivot forward, it looks like, so it gets up in the air in a hover, and then those pivot forward. Obviously, there have been a number of aircraft which sort of implement that, but this looked to me like the cleanest design I've seen on that yet. Extremely refined. They have very smooth surfaces. Looks like they really go really fast once it's going forward. <laughs> One more thing I keep seeing I like that they're doing more and more of computerized radios. Now the radios, of course, are great when they're able to control the aircraft, but you want intelligence, feedback, information, video. That's very cool, especially if it's a custom drone. You want to know what's going on, it tells you. That's great. All right, so that is it for us from CES 2016. We're literally going to go jump in the car right now and drive down to Ontario for AMA Expo, so we will see you there. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe.